other than that, when I close it, it looks, you know, pretty okay because everything's right here. I'm nearsighted, by the way. And I think this is pretty dope. I'm going to try out some virtual reality games and maybe do like a, um, I don't know how I'd be able to record in virtual reality, but I wish I did. I think I'm going to look that up and, you know, do another video reviewing this later. But so far it fits. It looks like it does what it's supposed to. So it looks like it does what it's supposed to. But I'm going to let my son try these out after this video. And then we're going to come back to you guys. But I noticed. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There are buttons here. Wait a minute. Hold up. I'll be right back. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hi, guys. Hey. This was Ava. Okay. Where am I? Okay. There's buttons, like, there's two switches right here, and it kind of shifts. I can't see out of my other eye because it's like. Okay. For the looks of it, pushing it out actually separates the image into two separate images for both eyes. And then pushing it forward kind of makes everything all one image. And basically, I would say this was more so for like um, water slide VR games, which I do have, and like roller coaster ones. If you think you know you can do that, if you like it that way, and but I prefer the viewing like two separate eyes because. Um, I feel, I, I feel cross-eyed doing the other ladder of the two. Um, you ready to try some VR games, yes. Jeffrey? And we will, thank you guys for viewing, and we'll be right back with another video. Bye. Say bye, Jeffrey. Bye. You gotta come over here where they can see you. Bye. bye. Mwah. Mwah.